So the title of the poem I'm doing is In Which I Compare Your Love or Your Beauty to War. I thought you were beautiful the moment I laid eyes on you, the moment you returned my gaze, the moment I shook your hand, the moment you opened your mouth, the moment you smiled. That was a lot of moments, yes, but I thought you were beautiful every single time. Apparently, so did everyone else. Like a work of art in a gallery, I was not alone in my admiration, but a thousand glances simply would not do. I had to know you. For physical beauty wanes, it is the soul that I am after, the radiance of what lies underneath. Physicality, easily forgotten, but what the soul touches, marks forever. But I guess I was not ready for you. You were a goddess to whom I could never compare, and I, a mere peasant, was not worthy. I was transfixed, but not worthy. That is the end of our story. Oh my god, I thought you were beautiful the moment I laid eyes on you. So what am I supposed to think now, when you shine brighter than the sun, when your eye, when your smile is more brilliant than the moon, when your eyes sparkle like stars, who knew that a goddess could transcend themselves? Allow me a moment to extend our story. Just a short moment. You don't have to do anything. Just listen. If we lived in ancient Greece, and the gods and goddesses of old were real, Aphrodite would not have bothered with Psyche. Psyche would have lived a peaceful life. Instead, Aphrodite would have sent Cupid after you. No one would know the story of Cupid and Psyche because it would never have happened. Instead, it would be known as the story of Cupid and you. If we had lived in ancient Greece and you were the sister of Helen of Troy, no one would know the Helen of Troy because she would not have been the face that launched a thousand ships. She would not have been the reason the topless towers of Ilium burned, no. That face belonged to you. In ancient history, Cleopatra's beauty was rumored to have started many wars. Imagine, her face caused thousands of men to give up their lives and fight. Now, human beings grow more and more attractive throughout history. We are evol evolving beautifully. This is scientifically proven. Cleopatra caused all of those wars, and that happened such a long time ago. If I created a time machine and brought you back in time, you would not have started just one or two wars, no. You, you would have made Cleopatra jealous. I know that's a gruesome thought, that thousands of people would give up their lives because of your face. But humor me, I promise you, this is a compliment. This is the only way I know how to express how lovely I find you. You are lovelier than Anything that I can imagine. Sakura trees, the sunset over Tokyo Bay, the lights and sounds of New York, San Diego, a batch of cookies fresh out of the oven. Anything. You are lovelier than anything. And me? I'm me. I guess this is where our story finally ends. What was a boy like me ever supposed to do against a girl like you? Thank you.